In this set of videos, we're going to recap simple linear regression. Now we've already learned a lot about linear regression, so we're going to move quickly through some parts of this. Now a reminder of the data that we're working with. This is the FEV data, or forced expiratory volume. It's looking at a cross-sectional sample of 654 youths between the ages of 3 to 19, and this data was collected in the middle to late 70s in uh, Boston. Now the main question of interest is the relationship between smoking and FEV, but we're going to build our way up to that. Oh, and just a reminder, in this data set, the sex variable is coded as 0 for female, 1 for male, and 0 for non-smoker, 1 for smoker. So I'm just going to go ahead and read that data into R. And we can quickly take a look at the names of the data set. We can see we have the age variable, FEV, which is our main outcome, height, biological sex, and smoking coded as yes or no. We can also check the dimensions of the data set. We can see it has 654 rows, five columns. Asking for the head gives us the first few rows of the data set, or we can use square brackets to ask for certain portions of the data. Here I'm asking for the first three rows. Or we can also use the view command with a capital V to get the data view in RStudio. So we can see the data here. Now let's ask for a summary of this data set. We can see that it's given us the mean age, median age, minimum, maximum, and so on. And one thing to notice here is that for the variables sex and smoking, these were coded using zeros and ones. R has returned means and medians and things like that for those. So it thinks these are numeric variables. Now we can confirm that if we check the variable types for biological sex and for smoking. Now this first command is going to return an error and we'll talk about why. If I ask for the class or the variable type for sex, you can see it returns this error, sex not found. And that's because we need to do one of two things. Either we need to use the um, dollar sign to extract variables, so data dollar sign sex. Ask for the class of go into the data frame, save this data, and extract the sex variable. We can see when we do that, R tells us that it's seeing this as an integer variable. Same with smoking. If we ask for the class of smoking variable, which is stored within the data of the data frame, we can see R thinks that's an integer. So we either need to work with the dollar signs or we can attach the data. And we've talked about this previously. Working with the dollar signs is a better way to work, although I'm going to work with attaching the data and then detaching when I'm done, just because it makes the code visually a little bit simpler. But if you're comfortable working with dollar signs and going that way, please do that. That is the better way to do things. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change those variables into factor. So here I'm telling R, go into the data, data frame saved as data, find the variable sex, and replace it with as a factor data dollar sign sex. Okay, so again I'm telling R, go into the data, extract the variable sex, make it a factor, and then stuff that into the sex variable within the data set. Okay, so it's going to replace it with a factor version. I'm going to do the same for the smoking variable here. Now, so just a reminder, what this does is it changes the variable type within the data frame, okay, within the data set itself. Now we can see if we ask for the class of the variable sex, R tells us this is a factor. If we ask for the class of the variable smoke, it's a factor. If we ask for a summary of the data, and now we can see for sex, R is telling us how many zeros and how many ones were there. There's 318 females, 336 males. So now that we've done that, I'm going to attach the data. And again, just a reminder, working with the dollar signs is a, probably a better way to work, but I do this because visually the code looks a bit simpler on the screen and it's easier from a teaching perspective to show things this way. So just to show you now, now if we ask for a class of the variable sex, once it's been attached, R will return to us, that's a factor. So attaching it takes all the variables that are in the data frame and puts them into R's working memory. Now I'm going to jump down here to a review of simple linear regression. So let's take a break. We'll look at a video of me talking in front of a whiteboard, recapping a few things about simple linear regression, and then we'll come back to looking at this stuff in R.